What are you doing here? You're surprised? After you left the back door to your apartment open for dear old Uncle Tommy, my blood's on you too. Father Tariq, he has something to tell you. I think you should answer it. Wow. I had goosebumps when I saw all these old dead characters, especially Proctor. For a moment, the first scene looked like the whole of power in a summary. Trust me, the opening scene was epic, but then I have some questions I want you to answer. So leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's digest together. Now, the question is, why wasn't Ghost there, but rather was made to have a phone call? And what do you think was the reason Tariq didn't pick the call? Now, just oppose it to why Lauren didn't enter the class. Do the math on your own. Let's chat in the comment section. In this video, I'm going to talk about the first scene of episode 9 and what I think. Who exactly set up the shooting scene? Who leaked Zeke's age? And if you think Lauren is dead or still alive? And of course, if you are new to my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and join the family. If you have already subscribed, thank you for the support. And I'm grateful to all of you for helping me get to 10k subscription. You guys are awesome. Now let's get straight into business. As usual, my previous video about Mecca knowing King robbed him happens to be true, but that's just by the way. Now, here is what I think about the first scene. Question I ask myself is, why was Ghost not amongst all the people who died because of Tariq? And why was it on the phone call instead? Well, two things. I heard some people say Ghost in real life or Mari allegedly had a problem with Courtney Kemp and 50 cents so there is no way they can use him for any future stuffs like they did with Riri, Keisha, Proctor and so forth. Sam also said it was part of the reason why we didn't hear Ghost's voice reading the letter he left for Tariq. Now if all these allegations are true that indeed there is some misunderstanding between these people beyond repairs then that could only make sense as to why Ghost was put on the call because they can't get him physically there. Also. If this is the case, then it means Ghost is indeed dead and we have to forget about him. But one thing you should know is that you can't be 50 cent like that and get away with it. He knows how to make people stars and I make them. Truth be told, I don't think Omari wants to do anything to ruin this project that made him the icon he is now. Cause today, if you ask who fans want to see back in power, Ghost is in the lead. Now. If this isn't true about the beef Omari had with Kemp and 50, then there is more to why Ghost wasn't among the ghosts who showed up in class. It is the same reason Lauren didn't enter the class. Now, since Tariq didn't pick the call and he didn't allow Lauren into the class, what does that mean to you? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Now, let me contradict those who think Omari is having beef with Courtney Kemp. One thing I know about people having serious issue is that there is no way they will post them or mention them on their pages or wish them happy birthday. So if Kemp is really having beef with Omari, I don't think she will randomly post him, tag him and even wish him on his birthday with such a sweet caption. So if Kemp is able to do this, then I don't think there is any serious bad blood between them enough not to get Ghost voiceover. Unless for sure, Kemp is just posting these pictures for optics. Then again, I don't see why she must fake in public and act like she's cool with Omari while she's not. Cause that would rather cause her more harm than good. So in my opinion, based on what I've seen, I don't think there is any beef going on. And to those who always say Courtney Kemp said in her live video that Ghost is dead, I hope she was bold enough to tell you people like Proctor will pop up again, let alone Ray Ray or Lakeisha. This should tell you that she can only tell you what you want to hear and not what you need to know. This is the same way we won't see Ghost coming. Now back to the first scene. If Tariq didn't allow Lauren in the room, it only means she isn't part of the dead. Metaphorically, Tariq not picking his dad's score in the dream means something. I'll leave that to you to debate on. Let me know if you still think Ghost is dead or not. Now moving on. I don't know why Monet at this point still find her way to lie to Zeke. Indeed, Zeke doesn't think for himself. Did you have something to do with Carrie's death? I never heard you like that, Zeke. After Lorenzo kicked me out, I came straight here. Indeed, Zeke doesn't think for himself. Her answer to the question alone about Carrie shows she lied again. Even Mecca noticed she was lying to him but decided to cover up for her. Now. 
I don't think the shooting scene at the basketball court was set up by Lorenzo and here is why. Lorenzo at this moment is worried about one thing and that is his drugs. And besides, I don't think he even knew Dante is the same person as Mecca. And let's be honest here, what will Lorenzo gain in killing Zeke or leaking his age? That will not cancel the fact that Monet lied to him for over 20 years and betrayed him. All this can only be convenient to one person and that is Mecca. Here is why. You know, Mecca doesn't buy into Zeke playing ball. All he wants is for he, Monet and Zeke to be family again. Zeke revealed to him how his age could cancel his draft and that was the great opportunity for Mecca. If Zeke is not drafted, he will have his family back. For Mecca not to look suspicious, he must sound convincing and supportive especially to Zeke and Monet. He must act as if he supports Zeke's career fully but behind the act, he doesn't. That is why even when the age scandal happened, he didn't act like he was worried. He just suggested the right alternative plan, which is what he really wanted for Zeke and Monet. And don't forget, according to Tariq, Mecca is the goat of global snitching, so leaking Zeke's age is not anything he can't do. Now, the court shooting, in my opinion, was set up by Mecca as well. It wasn't to kill anyone, it was just to shake both Monet and Zeke to think that their lives are in danger and only Mecca can protect them since Lorenzo knows the truth. That was why he was quick to suggest if it was Lorenzo. Mecca was a military man and I'm sure with his training, he should be able to at least hit one person in that car, but all his bullets went off target. Now look closely at the shooting. The people were shooting non-stop and look at Mecca. As soon as he shot through the glass of the car, it was like as if that was the cue for them to leave the scene and cease fire. And it was like, that's enough. The way Mecca aimed here, he could have shot the guy at the back and not through the window. And the moment he shot back, they both back off even though Mecca was fully on sight from their angle, which they could have shot him if they wanted. So to me, this should have seemed more like shaking and scaring Monet and Zeke off than shooting to kill. And this together with the age leaking will bring them to under his control. That was why when Monet said he should kill Lorenzo, he quickly said he has a better idea and that she and Zeke should jet out. We need to kill his ass. I have a better idea. So Mecca knew it wasn't Lorenzo who did all that. That was why he didn't see the need to kill him when Monet suggested it. And that is why he set up five passports for everyone to run with him, including Zeke. All these are part of Mecca's plan. Now, leave your thoughts in the comment section about everything that happened in this episode. Whether or not you think Lorenzo did all this or you think Mecca did it so that he can take advantage of the situation. But trust me, overall, it was great seeing Proctor and hearing his voice once again. And also, thank you guys for the 10k subscribers. Let's make it to 20k soon. If you like this video, kindly hit the subscribe button, share, like, and don't forget to leave your comments below. Catch you in my next video. Thanks for watching.